Hello, this is Rabbi Dr. Juan Marcos Rojana Gutierrez, and today we're continuing our trek through the study of the Tanakh, uh, focusing in on the concept of Sheol as the first layer of our study on Jewish perspectives on the afterlife. Uh, today we're looking at the concept that the, de the dead, excuse me, sleep in Sheol. Uh, we find this in Jeremiah 51:39. but before we read that, we also find this in the Amidah. For those of you who may be familiar, the Amidah, the daily prayer, the Shemona Ezra, uh, that we pray three times a day during uh, Shacharit Minchamarev, our Arbit, or in Shabbat we have the additional service of Musaf that we also do on the high, on the on the holidays, and of course on Yom Kippur we would have an additional service uh, Nila that would also include a recitation of the Amidah. But there's a section there that says Mehal Kelhaim Bechesed Mehayametim Rahamim Rabim So Mech Nofim Rofechol Limatius Rim Un Kayem Anatoli Shne Afar. And what does that say? It says he is faithful to those uh, who are asleep in the dust. And so this concept uh, carries on uh, on a daily basis in, in the liturgy, in the Sidur. And here we read, Adonai. With their poison, I will prepare their feast, and I will make them drunken, that they may be convulsed and sleep a perpetual sleep, and not wake, saith the Lord. Now here, it's not specifically referring to Sheol, but it's clear that if they are you know, sleeping, um, this is the afterlife. This is Sheol, where we both uh, we studied in previous videos that the righteous and the wicked go to Sheol, although given certain passages, it's clear at least from those descriptions, that there are different layers to Sheol, there are different quadrants or chambers, different levels, and uh, some of the wicked go to those places while others do not.